All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can control who can send you direct messages, both in a blanket sense so that nobody can message you ever, or if you want to set it on a server-by-server -server basis. So in order to do this, all you have to do is go to your user settings down here at the bottom of the screen, hit this little gear, and then inside of here, you want to go to the privacy and safety tab. This is where you can do things like filter out explicit images or DM spam from your messages. But what you want is down here in the middle under server privacy defaults. So by default, if you share a server with somebody, they are able to send you a direct message because that's the link between the two of you if they haven't added you as a friend. You can turn that off and then it will ask you, do you want to use this setting on all of the servers that you're already on? If you hit no, this will only apply to new servers that you join in the future. That way it will default to not accepting direct messages unless you right click that server and change the settings manually. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So for right now, I'm going to say no. You can also set allow a access to age restricted servers on iOS devices. You can say after joining on desktop, view servers for people 18 plus on your iPhone or whatever, you can set that on or off. I don't really use an iPad or an iPhone, so that doesn't really matter to me one way or the other, but that option is there. I'm also gonna turn the server settings back on so I can check some of these other options as well. Uh, down here, you can say enable message requests from server members you may not know. So basically, if I have direct messages enabled and I still want to maybe allow people to message me if they have something relevant to say to me, I can set it up so that they can send me a message and it'll res be received in my inbox as a message request. I can then choose to ignore it and it'll continue to treat them as if they are blocked and cannot message me. Also, you can say I would allow access to age restricted commands from apps in my direct messages. I'm not really sure what constitutes an age restricted command from a bot in a direct message. I don't really use bots that have any age restricted features that I'm aware of. In fact, I didn't even know that was allowed at all but you can allow that if you want down here by toggling this on or off. If you're on Discord, you're probably old enough to see a fair bit of the edgier memes that are out there, but if you're under the age of 18, obviously I cannot condone you viewing adult content, so if you're concerned about that, maybe turn that off. The other options up in here, like I was talking about before, are you can filter out explicit, which are adult content images from your your messages discord will automatically flag them and block them from being sent to you this is good if you're like a parent who's trying to filter out some of the stuff that their younger teen is gonna maybe see but you have to be at least like 13 or 14 to use discord so just keep that in mind dm spam filter you can keep people from spamming you with things like crypto scams or things like that you can filter all messages Filter messages only from non-friends or don't filter at all. And these settings are the same for the explicit image filter as well. I turn those off because the explicit filters and DM spam filters catch stuff that isn't explicit and isn't a spam in the filter all the time. So your mileage may vary. Now, what you can do is you can get very specific with which servers you do and don't allow people to message you from. I, on my own server, Go to, where is it now? Is it still under privacy settings? Yes. So if you right click and go to privacy settings for a specific server, you can set it up so that you do or don't receive direct messages from that server. You can receive a message requests, which will filter messages out from people who are not on your friends list to see if you actually want to respond to them or not. So if I were to turn this off, People could just directly message me as if we were friends and they could just immediately start sending me messages and requests and all of that stuff. If I turn this on, they have to request to talk to me unless we're friends already. Um, people, I can set it up so people cannot see my activity status if I toggle this off. 
on this server. So I will always look invisible to them if they try to see my profile and they're not on my friends list. They can also see my activity joining. So if I join an activity on this server, they'll be able to see that I have done this. I can turn that off and no one on the server will be able to see that I am doing activity things on this server. Although they will still be able to see if I am in a channel, if they can see that channel. And that's how you can kind of control who can send you direct messages or not via like a blanket change to your server settings or by going server by server and changing your settings for each individual one. It's completely up to you. You can use that however you like. So I hope you found that helpful. This is how to change your direct message settings in 2023. I've been your host, Larry. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you next time. Bye everybody and have a good one.